In a world where public perception can make or break a project, Netflix has thrown down a gauntlet that could redefine the landscape of celebrity documentaries. The streaming giant's latest endeavor, a behind-the-scenes look at Prince Harry's passion for polo, has become a point of contention, with executives now demanding a high-profile public relations campaign to support the docuseries, or face outright cancellation. As the stakes rise, one must wonder, what does this mean for the royal family's relationship with the media, and how will it affect the already tumultuous narrative surrounding the couple? But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. In recent years, the genre of celebrity documentaries has exploded in popularity, with platforms like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime leading the charge. Audiences have become increasingly fascinated with the lives of public figures. These documentaries offer a glimpse into the personal struggles, triumphs, and even the mundane aspects of life that celebrities face. They humanize icons who often seem untouchable, inviting viewers into their worlds. This trend has given rise to a new form of storytelling where the line between entertainment and reality blurs. Celebrities have learned to harness this medium to reshape their narratives and control their images. However, with great power comes great responsibility, or in this case, a precarious balancing act. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have not only faced their share of media scrutiny, but have also actively sought to shift the narrative around their lives. After stepping back from royal duties, they have become advocates for mental health, social justice, and environmental issues, but their every move is still dissected by tabloids and news outlets. Their decision to create a polo documentary is a strategic move, aiming to showcase a softer side of the prince, juxtaposed against the backdrop of his royal upbringing. However, the couple's relationship with the media remains fraught. Despite their efforts to present a more relatable image, the constant scrutiny often leads to sensationalized headlines and public backlash. This dynamic makes the stakes for the polo documentary particularly high. As Netflix prepares to roll out the documentary, executives have reportedly expressed concerns about its potential reception. They fear that without a robust public relations strategy, the project could be met with backlash, leading to poor viewership and damaging the platform's reputation. This has culminated in a bold ultimatum. Either launch an extensive PR campaign or face cancellation of the project altogether. This decision raises several questions about the nature of celebrity documentaries today. Are they merely entertainment, or do they serve a deeper purpose? Can they withstand the pressures of public opinion, especially when the subjects are as polarizing as Prince Harry and Meghan? Public relations, PR, has become an essential component of any successful media project, particularly in the age of social media. A well-executed PR campaign can create buzz, build anticipation, and ultimately drive viewership. For Harry's polo doc, a strong PR strategy could help frame the narrative in a positive light, emphasizing themes of resilience, passion, and connection to the community. However, PR also has its pitfalls. A poorly managed campaign can lead to even more scrutiny and negative press. Moreover, in a world where public sentiment can shift in an instant, relying too heavily on PR can backfire. The narrative can quickly spiral out of control, leading to more sensational headlines that the couple has desperately tried to avoid. The implications of this ultimatum extend beyond just the documentary itself. For the royal family, this could be a pivotal moment in how they are perceived in the public eye. A successful launch could help humanize Prince Harry and paint a more favorable picture of his relationship with Meghan, contrasting sharply with the often negative portrayals in the tabloids. Conversely, if the documentary fails to resonate and is met with backlash, it could reinforce the narrative that Harry and Meghan are out of touch, further alienating them from the public. It's a high-stakes gamble that could either restore their standing or deepen the divide. As the situation unfolds, it's crucial to consider how Harry and Meghan navigate the complex media landscape. They have consistently voiced their frustrations with the press, claiming that they are misrepresented and unfairly targeted. This documentary could serve as a corrective measure, allowing them to present their story on their terms.